All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the Ice Dragon Ray Run VR, and today we've got the Hall of the New Braunfels Train Show, April 15th through 16, 2023, here at uh, New Braunfels, Texas, which is also very close to San Antonio, Texas, when it comes to the regions. And this particular train show is usually the best one of the year. It is the, definitely the biggest when it comes to the San Antonio, Texas area, and definitely one that. Um, if you really want to come out and do a train show, this is a really good one to come to. So um, we got the hall, as you guys saw from the other video. It's just a whole bunch of vendors there, great prices, and the hall is definitely one of my best I've had in a while. So um, with that, let's go ahead and dive into what we got. So starting off over here, we got, and one thing I do want to say too is take the prices with a grain of salt because, you know, there was some wheeling and dealing. There was some, um, uh combos or uh, a bundle deals that i got from these vendors and that's a great thing about train shows sometimes you just want to get rid of their stock so uh, again take with the price with the, with the grain of salt and then we'll just go from there so with that we got this custom fire patrol firefighting uh car it is a great handmade looking car um got chains and just customized wood it is a gorgeous piece it isn't in uh Southern Pacific as well when I saw these. Now, these particular cars, they come like in a four-car set, but they were sold individually. Um, I declined the other two, and the reason why I did is because the height of the customization with the Fire Patrol with the other two cars, they didn't look quite right to me, and I think it was out of NMRA standards, so I just got uh, this car and then this other particular wagon as well. And again, you see kind of custom going into the uh, Southern Pacific style of car. Again, it is gorgeous handmade um it, it just it feels and it, it feel it's definitely a heavy heavy car so i can't wait to run these on the layout i can't wait to get my fire train going because that's definitely something i've been wanting to do for a while now uh definitely some of the bigger um best deals i think i've got was this particular car here now this is a walther's car um phase four amtrak superliner uh diner car it's got middle wheels it lights up it's got uh katie couplers on it and the fact that you know these cars nowadays can almost go for 100 bucks but uh, when i saw the price on it for 20 it's like i had to get it because uh, i do eventually want to get my phase four amtrak and uh you know just being patient with it finding those right deals and man this is uh this is a great steal so i'm definitely happy i was able to snatch one of these um, some other passenger cars that we got here. Um, so these are, again, AHM. I love AHM, IHC, River Rossi coaches because uh, they just feel good to me when it goes to running and just conversion-wise. So I found some more Chicago Northwestern to go with uh, my set. And then also eventually I want to build up my MKD Texas Special because, again, the M MKT is – one of the fallen flags from Union Pacific. And so I want to build up that passenger train as well. So definitely something you guys will see in the future. Uh, so some other things. So originally I was not going to get this particular car because like I had to put it together. I didn't find any coaches and I don't have anything Southern Pacific with the silver scheme um, in my collection yet, but I knew I needed to get it eventually. <laughs> However, um, I did find something else and made me get back and get this car. And so I kind of scored. Go ahead and zoom out here. We've got this wonderful IHC um, passenger train set. This is a, a 234 steamer, which I don't, I don't have that type of steamer in my collection. And the fact that we got more of the Southern Pacific uh, color schemes here with the silver as well. Um, man, I, I couldn't believe it when I saw this because these are the type of cars I was also looking for and thought I wouldn't find, but yep, here's the set. And uh, uh, ended up grabbing the, the baggage, so now we've got basically a complete train set here. Um, I think they did make a dome car for this, so I'll keep my eyes open, but anyways, still a great grab nevertheless. All right, so some few other things. I did grab some more rolling stock, so my Smurf train can continue to expand. Got uh, a rock uh, coal car here. And then some things that I've been wanting to do is I really want to make a Union Pacific cattle uh, train. And so we got two Union Pacific. I'll, I'll try, I'll probably weather the more um, toyish type of cars. But I also got another MKD here. Again, great deals. I, I love the train shows because you just find some awesome deals. <clears throat> All right, so these ones are normally I don't pay too much for a particular rolling stock, but when I saw these, I had to have them. All right, so we've got 
this Christmas decorated graffitied uh, car here. And oh man, it, it is, it caught my surprise. And it's like, I need to have this. Because uh, I do want to make a Christmas train. And it just looks so cool. And then uh, another kind of graffiti one that, I, that caught my eye was this God Bless America land that I love. Atlas 2022. It's got the Statue of Liberty. It's basically got the New York skyline. And then there's a the Freedom Tower right there. Just gorgeous pieces. Let me grab one more piece real quick. That kind of goes along with this collection. But it's... Uh, it's great. So I'm hoping I didn't break any cuppers because I didn't get, uh, yeah, it's still good. So this right here, oh man, this is the special edition 2007 Katy Christmas train boxcar. And uh, you can see the price there. But you can just see the decorative work. So my Christmas train is slowly coming together. I am, I'm excited when I saw these cars. So... Pretty nice for sure. So again, there's the the Katie Merry Christmas. So can't wait for the Christmas train again. You'll see that running a lot on my layout when the time comes for the holidays. So uh, let's continue on here. All right. So this particular car really caught my eye. And norm again, normally it's just weird. I, I don't normally collect things that are outside of UP, but when I saw this, it's like. It is so unique. It's one of these scratch built kits. And I could do I can do some interesting things with this. So this is basically like a chicken coop or a uh, half stock cattle car. It was just so unique and this actually came from I believe a member from Samra as well. Um um the member's father if I understand it correctly was uh selling the col his collection. And when I saw this, it's like, this is so cool. Um, it, it really just caught my eye. Yeah, it's a palace light poultry car. And it's just different. And kind of, I got this and a few others from that same gentleman. Now again, normally I don't get these things, but when I'm helping other people out, and especially with something I could put in a layout, so we've got, again, I like my paper buildings, and we got a paper saloon here. Very cool detail. Again, very, very cheap. We've got um, kind of a corner market here. And then one that's really detailed, we've got this uh, hardware store. So we'll definitely put these on the layout. Uh, just It's just something about it. Very, very nice buildings. So yeah, you'll definitely see these on the layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this back up because All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, probably the only end scale item that uh, Fairy VR, my wife, um, got from the show. This is basically, we love these, um, oh, what do they call them? Uh, the pressed center cars. We, we love these depressed center cars because you can get some cool big items in here. You can put a camera car on them. <laughs> and uh, so we saw that. It's like, yeah, we'll, we'll grab it. So that's kind of the only one end scale that we got for the uh, T-Track modulars. But there'll be more to come. Okay, uh, so I saw this. Now, one thing I want is because, again, I am a collector of anything that's in the UP family tree. And one particular railroad that I really need to expand my collection on is MKD. Now, you guys saw I got the um, the Texas Special red and silver car. And I've always wanted the yellow and green um, particular engine, especially when it comes to GP38s. There's something about GP38s that I love. I have a, I'm starting to have a whole collection of these things. And I, I, I just like it. I like the style. I like the, uh, especially when you got the, um, the vents coming off from the side. Now, this particular one, the vendor had um, DCC ones. But for the price of it, I decided against getting a DCC version because this one I can convert 
fairly well. It's a DC. It's just a straight up DC engine that I'll use as Digitrax to convert it into DCC. But this is something about it. The price was good, and you know I just grabbed it. So especially um, there was two other modern day DCC engines that I grabbed that was a good chunk of my budget. But uh, I'm actually happy that I got them. So I'll save that for last. So again, MKD, I I love it. All right. So this again was a package deal and it was uh really really good let me go ahead and zoom out here okay so we just got a whole bunch of missouri this is what i thought i was done with missouri pacific um there was basically a steal for these uh cabooses and the seller had every style of caboose this is a denver and uh, rear grand that uh, we got in there uh, for this particular caboose but going back to Missouri Pacific, we basically had the side, we had the high cab in the back, and then the other one was the uh, the high cab in the center. So now we got uh, all three styles that the Missouri Pacific lines have when it comes to their cabooses. Um, so I'm definitely excited to grab those as well. All right, so next few things. Just give me a hot minute, I'll get them out. Let's go ahead and grab all this. Now, as you guys saw from the video of ep uh, the first episode of the um, New Braunfels train show, there was another kind of YouTuber there that was selling this stuff. And the gr he had a great price for the set. Because I've been looking to get some of these um, very old um, transitional era type of uh, Mans of Way cars. And he was selling the whole set for 40 I couldn't refuse. There was just no way. So basically, here is the entire set of the Maintenance of Way. And I am excited to run this on the layout. I cannot wait. It's, uh, I, I'm a little giddy inside that we got this for 40 it, It's it was, it was a great, it was a great, great deal. Um, from a great person. So again, um, I'll link his information down below in the comments or in the description as well. So that's a cool man to way. Um, so some other things that I'll show real quick. So Fairy VR definitely scored for her train. So you guys know that she owns the Dale Earnhardt train. But there's another train that she's wanting to build and that is the all pink train. Um... Needless to say, we kind of got an epic deal on all of these pink cars. Uh, I believe there's like 10 cars here, and we, we, got a, we got a great deal on it. And so, yes, the Pink Panther train is going to be a thing. So, yeah, coming to a video near you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, and now for the grand finale. Now, this was definitely a good chunk of my budget when it comes to train shows i have particular rules normally i try to buy stuff that's within my railroad things that are unique and things that i can't find anywhere else at a good price normally i go for the old new stock or just generally used items because you know i can always repair them and so forth but um at that point you know i had bought everything that i wanted from the show when it comes to those rules so if my allowance for the train show permits it, then I can go into some of the newer stuff. And I barely had enough from my allowance to get some new items. So I am excited for this. So you guys have seen this on the channel. But it was from other members. Here is the Scale Trains EMD GP30 in Denver, Rio Grande. And... For Chicago Northwestern. So, Rayron, why did you buy? You know, you, you they had plenty of Union Pacific GP30s, and they had the slugs there. Why didn't you get them? Well, he, here's the thing: I've got plenty of Union Pacific um, engines, and it's like I wanted to dive into the other railroads that you know I don't have too much of. Uh, I'll just gently put on top here. Um, and it's like, I will eventually get the Union Pacific ones, but I have so many, like, GP38s when it comes to Union Pacific. And 
when it comes to these particular railroads, I just didn't have much of them. And so I love the GP30s. Don't get me wrong. The GP30s are a gorgeous engine. This model is definitely one of the best builds that I've ever seen. If you look at all the reviews that's on YouTube when it comes to GP30s, especially when it comes to scale trains, it is quite something special. And when I saw another club member run the Union Pacific with the slugs, you guys have seen them on my shorts and videos, they were just a thing of beauty. And it really fits my collection. It's basically a definition of my collection that, you know, you got these um, very unique oddball diesels. And um, it, it's in my railroad. And there's just something about it. So at the end of the day, this is something I really wanted and, you know, just went after them so i am definitely definitely excited about that so uh but with that guys that is basically the haul and again it may look expensive but to be honest guys it really isn't if you guys just save up money and keep to your rules keep to your limits and look for those great deals and be patient and you know negotiate with the dealerships you guys can you know get what you want and so forth so um yeah uh, it's just kind of crazy it was a great train show and I'm very grateful to have all this. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys on the videos, on live streams, and so forth. So with it, guys, thank you so much for watching this um, cluster of now of a mess that I got to clean up. But uh, thank you guys so much. And again, the channel is doing awesome. You guys are killing it. And I'm just grateful that you guys are with me on this journey. So with it, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next video.